look of no confidence from this guy. Hi museum friends, it's Miss Rita here along with Mr. Rogers. Now many of you may not know me because I typically stay behind the scenes here at the museum, but you've probably seen some of my work and if you've seen our previous craft videos, you've, you've definitely seen my hands. Now we've had a couple of comments about how did you find children so coordinated to do all those projects and that's because we did it. I'm just a grown woman with little disproportionate T-Rex hands. So Ms. Donna's series premiered, I believe the Friday before last, by the time I published this video. And it's all about her outdoor adventures around her log cabin. And it's perfect for Ms. Donna. I have fun editing them. She has fun shooting them. But if you want to know a secret, I am not outdoorsy in the least. I am definitely the Ava Gabor and, and, and Bob could be the pig. So what's this series going to be about? This series is going to be about um, trying out different crazy Pinterest things, activities, recipes, big projects. I'm going to let you know how much they cost, how long it takes, if you need any particular skill set that would be helpful, and any hints or tips that I develop along the way. At this point, we're not even sure what this series is gonna be called. I, I, I'm, right now I'm just at nearly 40 year old lady tries not to injure herself while doing crafts. Also, there's a tortoise. So today's activity is a geodesic dome. Now I've seen this many a times on Facebook and Pinterest and it looks quite daunting. So this may go really well, or it may be a catastrophe. Either way, we're gonna let you know. So you're gonna need a lot of cardboard because you're gonna have to cut out about 50 shapes. I, I have a T-square because it's not required, but you do need at least a ruler. And then you need, of course, the X-Acto knife. And when we get to the assembling part, you're gonna need a lot of duct tape. All right, let's get measuring and let's get cutting. So here we have the first triangle. We are going to need 30 of these suckers. This one I've cut out to use as a template, so the other ones will be easier and less measuring. And it actually wasn't as hard as I was expecting. Now, we will see what I'm saying at the end of 30 of these plus 10 other ones of a different shape or a different size, and then the, the 10 squares. And just, just a brief side note, I do have this cutting board. It belongs to Miss Julie, who did all the design work before I came to the museum. And she had, she had forgotten it and left it. And I just, I just wanted to thank Miss Julie, because I know she's probably watching. So it's been three years, Miss Julie. I, it's, it's ours now. All right, let's get more of these guys cut out. All you say, Mr. Rogers, you're really, you're really dug in over there. I'm feeling optimistic. That could be a bad sign. We will see. Okay, so at this point we have 30 of the first triangle, 10 of the second triangle, and now it's time to cut the 12 by 12 squares, except mine are not going to be 12 by 12 just because Smith Acres gave me these nice produce boxes and they're sturdier than typical cardboard and they're already at a designated height. I believe it's about 11 inches. So I'm sacrificing an inch just to save some time and have some better stability. Plus they, they got these cool designs. And I think that'll look neat at the, at the bottom of our dome. Here's where we're at at this point. Five of the hexagons, seven of the triangles because they, they said to leave some out for the windows and the door. I'm gonna go in and reinforce everything with duct tape and start getting it 
start getting this all together in theory once I tape it all up and then wrap it around. We should have the top of our dome. Mr. Rogers has abandoned me. He loves the cardboard and he's gonna probably be very upset once he realizes it's, it's a dome and he can't have it. As you can see, it's actually coming together. I did have some trouble in the back here where the cardboard was a little damp and got a little crumbly, but I'll just reinforce that with more duct tape. There's nothing duct tape can't fix. I'm not quite sure if I'm gonna leave these two triangles here open for windows or not. We will see when I start attaching the roof which is the next step. Mr. Rogers has taken a lunch break. He wanted no part of the assembly portion of this project. At this point, I'm not, I'm not sure I do either. Attaching the top wasn't as, actually as bad as I thought. It took me about half an hour to assemble this portion. We still have to do the bottom portion, which is gonna give it some height. Right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back in with a lot more duct tape, make sure this sucker is as secure as I can make it, and then we'll add those bottom pieces. Okay, this is beginning to take shape. We have it up on its base. Now I just need to go in and reinforce everything with duct tape and make sure it's its proper shape. Hello, museum friends. It's Mr. Rogers here. Now, usually my crib is a little chill. But what I want more than millions of years of evolutionary perfection, I go to my dome. Come on inside. Hi, uh, museum friends. We have a dome. Now, I constructed this dome over the course of three days, working approximately three hours a day. I end up using four large boxes, two medium boxes, and five produce boxes, and one and a half rolls of, of large and strong duct tape. So overall, this project will only run you approximately $20, depending on where you get your duct tape. It's more of a time and patience commitment than anything else. So if you have a second person helping you, that will be very beneficial. If you had someone holding it while you were able to tape, that would speed things up tremendously and ease up on the frustration. So obviously this is a pen that can be made if you have enough time patience and the cutting skills. I do not recommend this for first time crafters. This is not where you want to start. But if you're looking for a project that's really going to wow your kids, then this is, this is probably it. If you showed up to a holiday or a birthday and this was in the room for your child, they would be as happy as Mr. Rogers. Uh, I would just plan on not trying to finish it in a day. Maybe just work on it a little bit at a time and your children can be excited watching it all get put together. And then it can be a reading nook, a battle for whatever their imagination wants. Now, if you would like to attempt this project yourself, I will have links available on the museum blog to help you out, as well as some tips to help you get through the process. Now, if you do create this, feel free to share on our social media, tag us, Niantic Kids. We would love to see people enjoying their domes. Also, if you're looking for new children's activities, projects, or crafts, check out our museum blog, Spark. We publish new blog posts every day at noon. All the projects have been tried and tested by our museum staff. So if you have any questions about any project, feel free to reach out to us. If you have any questions about this project, feel free to, to ask me in the, in the comment section. 
So thank you for joining us on this crafting journey. If you have an idea for a future episode, leave it down in the comments. And we here at the museum really miss seeing our friends play. And we hope to be able to open and see you soon. Bye museum friends.